Your hometown station real estate and financial guides are back on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS, to share with you what you need to know in order to navigate the sometimes confusing markets and guide you toward financial wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Well, we're going to start with Merry Christmas, and I think we'll end with Happy New Year, because this is the last show of the year for the Don and Gino Real Estate Finance Show. But the good news is, we'll be back next year. Oh, that's right. That's right. Just warning you, we will be back. <laughs> Just like our, uh, the famous words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> No, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want to close out with some great information. Uh, thanks to Paul Dinkle with Remax, one of our good friends and an incredible real estate professional that does a great job and always gets his clients coming back for a reason because he knocks it out of the park for him. He really is passionate about his job, knows his job, and cares. And he has cared enough to bring some great information for you to close out our show about why 2014, beginning, let's we'll start off with the beginning of 2014 is a great opportunity for uh, first time and move up buyers. It's a great time to purchase and it's a great time to sell. So Paul, why don't we start touching on some of these factors of why they should buy at the beginning of versus waiting till the euphoria hits again and we run out of inventory. Because actually, Gino yeah, brought we up you, about this, yeah, yeah, Gino brought up a great, and Gino, go ahead and, and touch on that. Because you brought up a good reason. We were talking about inventory decreasing, and Gino's like, oh, we forgot about this factor that's going to make inventories go down more, meaning more competition against you. Right. The more people that are, one of the things that we're, you know, the challenged with is the buyer pool. The buyer pool was too large for the amount of inventory. So the new set of buyers that are entering the buyer pool this year are the buyers that did short sales two years ago. Okay, so those set of buyers are going to enter the market, and it's going to increase competition. They're going to eat up a, a lot of inventory as well. So the buyer pool is expanding, and inventory hasn't expanded to follow with it. So that's one more factor of why inventory is going to be a problem next year. Yeah. All right, Paul, so why don't you touch on some of your, your great list there. You have a list of some of the factors of, of great opportunities, though. This is yeah. good news. This is good news for, yeah. for buyers. Absolutely. Uh, the reason to get a jump start for 2014 is right now there's lower market activity, so you're not competing against as many buyers. A lot of buyers are going to wait until February, March, which is the traditional buying season. Uh, so you're not going to have as many buyers uh, to compete against. Uh, sellers are going to be motivated. It's been a little slow yeah. during the holidays. They're kind of you know, a little antsy. They're, they're, they're like, what happened? Well, I know, thought I was selling my home before I even listed yeah, it. Yeah, I thought I had the greatest home in the world, and nobody's come by to, to check it out. So, And that's all going to change You know, once yes. we get past the holidays. I mean, it always does. Uh, there's a good selection of homes. So you know, until the inventory shrinks and then you don't have as good of a selection of homes, right now you have a better selection of homes. So it's a great time. Uh, the uh, you're not as I think as I said you're not competing with as many buyers so you're going to be less chances of having you know multiple offers and bidding wars you don't want to get into that because that makes it very challenging and difficult actually and let me touch on this Paul because you were hitting about the uh, a, a little bit more uh, inventory and the sellers being a little bit more motivated that would mean if you did have a home to sell that they might be motivated to work with you a little bit more on that contingency or the uh, buyer's choice, meaning giving you an opportunity to sell your home um, or purchase a home and still have the opportunity to sell your own home, meaning you don't have to do the double <coughs> move. You, they might work with you on that now. Yeah, they're, they're being much more accommodating. Uh, That's the word I'm looking we're for. Say, we're saying, you know, there's less of the, no you know, of having an a removal of appraisal contingency, so you're not going to have that to deal with. I've actually seen uh, sellers take uh, contingent offers, you know, if, if the if the buyer has a home in escrow, they'll at least look at that and likely would go with that. Uh, whereas in the past, last year, they wouldn't even consider that. If you had any kind of a contingency, you might as well forget it. Right. right. Uh, yeah, and the, the, the other, other thing, the financing. We didn't talk yeah, about that. Yeah. The other thing that you're that you're looking at is is uh, the financing goes up. Now that's gonna you know you're gonna be qualified for less or have a higher payment. So you know get in there before the rates go up. Well, when we talk about the, the purchasing power, and, and please listen to this, because this is a big deal when you're out. And, Paul, I know this is a fact that you have to deal with, is that when they, they have these preconceived notions, when you're out looking for a home, you want a certain home. And there's nothing worse than being told at one time that you can go out and buy, let's just say, a $450,000 home that you qualify at this time. 
which has the four bedrooms you need so that you have your your uh, your uh, room Johnny has his room Susie has uh, her room and you have an office and you're all set and going that's what I need that's why I want to move up I want my own office or I want Johnny to have his own room because he's getting older now and it's time to split up the kids um, or you want that garage or the third car garage all these things that are in your your dreams your vision there's nothing worse than trying to <laughs> kibosh those and say I'm sorry but prices have gone up or interest rates have gone up therefore you now only qualify for 410 or 400 which is say now how Paul how tough is it to go out and now try to find somebody a three-bedroom home without that third car garage well it becomes almost impossible exactly. what happens is is you have to compromise even further you may have to consider changing your expectations from a single-family home to a townhome Right. Uh, or so location. Or location. Instead of living in Valencia, you might have to live in Valverde, right. uh, for example. Or for a lot further away from the freeway. Uh, your commute might be longer. Um, the, the school district may be different. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of factors that w we, we don't want you to have to deal with if you don't have to. But just being proactive. And if you don't know right now, just look. You know, talk to us. Paul will be glad to show you the homes that are available right now. We'll be glad to uh, pre-approve you ahead of time so you can properly prepare and know what your options are before it's too late. Well, let's, let's talk about that for a second because a lot of people might not realize that getting pre-approved is free. And getting in an agent's car to go look at a house is free. So, really, why not educate yourself on and at we least don't what's attack available? You. We don't attack you. Paul, you're a nice guy. Yeah, we might actually like you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you you got some, some teammates on your on your side here, and that's what you really need. We're not going <laughs> to, you're not going to wake up and go, huh, I bought what? <laughs> it won't happen. It will not happen. We're just here on your side. Our team is here. They're just amazing. Paul's a really, really nice guy. He cares about his clients. That's why I always come back. So they should look into this stuff, shouldn't they? Oh, absolutely. And, and Gino is absolutely correct. I have a lot of buyers that they don't really go through the process of getting pre-approved before they start their search. And then what happens is you find something that they love and you got to move quick. And then, you know, they can't get a hold of their lender. So, but it actually works out because then I'll shift them over to you guys <laughs> and uh, we get them pre-approved. Because you can't submit an offer these days without a pre-approval. You need you need to have a pre-approval letter from a you know a competent lender. You need to have uh, proof of funds. You need to have a you know a copy of an earnest deposit check. Those are the three ingredients, along with the uh, purchase agreement, that you have to have what, before you could submit an offer. And just a delay of a day or two could could uh, you know wipe it out to where somebody else gets in there and you lose out. Does it well, make a difference also. working with a local lender and real estate agent? Oh, absolutely. To get your offer accepted? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. come on. It's, it's well, got to be. Well, what happens is, is look, just look at it this way. If you have homes in the area, they have listing agents that in most cases are from this area. The listing agent is the one that's going to be making recommendations to the seller. They're going to be much more comfortable with a local lender that they know than somebody that they don't know. So it, you can, it's kind of a win-win all the way around. So it's a lot more difficult using uh, online lender A or B versus a local lender that they trust. I have people that have, yeah, a uh, an online lender that they have no relationship with, and they usually don't even know what all the details of the loan are until later. Oh, we hate seeing that. Yeah, yeah. I call them e-somethings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the loan is. It's yeah. something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, and, uh, you know, coming next year with all the changes that are happening, I think you'll see a lot more of those lenders and those types of lenders go away just because of the ability for a client to be more litigious against those lenders. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of those lenders go away. And, Paul, thank you very much for taking the time today to provide us with what what real facts happened in 2013 and uh, helping our listeners and helping you out there understand some of your opportunities for 2014 because now is a great time, isn't it? Oh, it's the best time. You get a start now. Don't wait until the market really heats up. You know, now's, now's the time to do it. All right. Well, so reach out to Santa Claus Paul. He's got his hat on. He's ready to help you out. How can they get a hold of you, buddy? Uh, you can call me on my cell phone, 661-510-3042, or you can go to my website, and all my information is there, www.pauldinkle, P-A-U-L-D-I-N-K-E-L.com. Paul Dinkle, the nice guy on your team. That's right, with Remax. Thanks, Paul, for being part, well, of, thanks for the invite. part of our show and, and just a great, a great individual for our industry and a great friend. Well, I love it. You guys are great.
And so are you. And so are you out there because you've given us the opportunity to be part of you for the, all of 2013, Gino. Yeah, and wrapping up the year and getting close to our third year in radio. Pretty exciting. Got our new studio ready to go for 2014. Firing on all cylinders. That's right. Our new show producer, Shannon Fosnov, behind the scenes, staying awake for us. AP Productions making us look good. If you need, you know, video production services uh, and broadcasting services. Sorry, i got to clarify that. Sorry, Furman. And uh, we want to thank you for just being part of our show, being our friends, and so, so important to us. And this is why we enjoy being part of you every single week, right here in the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show, every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Now, we're going to wish you a very safe and happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Right. See you next year. Woo! Woo!